Imagine you're going on a road trip. You drive your car 100 miles from your house to your first destination. Then you drive 50 miles to a second destination. And then you drive 120 miles to return home. In physics, we might ask, how far did you travel? It turns out that this question has two possible answers. The first answer involves calculating the total distance that you traveled. Calculating the distance traveled is like counting the number of steps you took to get somewhere, or figuring out how much gas you needed to make a trip. In this case, we would add 100, 50, and 120 to arrive at a total distance of 270. On the other hand, the second answer involves calculating the displacement from beginning to end. Displacement doesn't care about how many destinations you visited or how much gas your car consumed. It only cares about how far apart your final location and initial location are from each other. In this case, your initial and final locations are the same, so your displacement is exactly zero. Calculating the displacement is important for many physics concepts like velocity and energy. Let's use a computer code to help us learn more about how these two concepts work. This code creates a dot on the grid to the right and then moves it according to your directions. First, we use a function called marker to create the dot. We get to specify the x and y coordinates of the dot and what color the dot will be. Notice that we also give the dot a name, in this case, nester, so that we can refer to it later. Then, we use a function called move to move the dot by a certain amount. We enter the name of the dot to be moved and the amount we want it to move in the x direction and in the y direction. We can repeat the move function as often as we like. Each time, it moves Nestor by the amounts we specify. When we're finished moving Nestor, the code can give us the distance he traveled and the displacement of his movement if we use the distance and displacement functions. Notice that, as in our previous example, these two numbers are not the same. The distance is equal to the length of each path that he followed added together. The displacement is the straight line distance from his starting point to his ending point. Let's try another example. This code will cause a new marker, Will, to move in a square. First, Will moves to the right by three units, then down three units, then left three units, and then up three units. At the end of this path, Will probably feels tired having moved a total of 12 units. But despite all his effort, his displacement is zero because he ends at the same location where he begins. You should now be able to use this code to create paths of varying shapes and lengths. The activities at the link in the description below will help you practice using this code and learn more about the difference between displacement and distance. The functions used in this code are pretty straightforward to understand. The marker function uses vPython's sphere object, giving it a position, a radius, and a color. The make trail option allows us to see the path followed by the sphere. The initial position and distance variables will be useful later. The move function adds the provided values dx and dy to the marker's position value. vPython then takes care of moving the marker in our animation window. The function then calculates the amount of distance moved in this step using the Pythagorean theorem and adds this to the marker's record of distance traveled. When we want to retrieve the distance the marker has traveled, the distance function simply retrieves the most up-to-date value. Finally, the displacement function calculates the difference between the marker's current x position and its original x position, and the difference between the marker's current y position and its original y position. Then, it uses the Pythagorean theorem to calculate the straight line displacement between the two points. This is why the displacement value is different from the distance value, because the distance includes every step taken by the marker, but the displacement only looks at the beginning and ending points.